A new art museum in Kentucky is attracting visitors from across the country. And it's not in Lexington or Louisville. It's in a small town with a big reputation among collectors. As Fox 56 Evening anchor Marvin Bartlett shows us, it's a place where the art reflects the spirit of the bluegrass. This art studio at Center College is a place where students and professors come to play with fire. You know, I'm a bit of a pyro. I love the kind of action, the excitement. The college is well known for its hot glass program, where students learn to turn globs of goo into something grand. Glass is so unique in that a lot of, th many people just don't have the experience in it. They, they have no idea and then they try it and they become enamored with it. Patrick Martin carries on a program started in 1986 by Stephen Rolf Powell, who became a world-renowned glass artist while teaching in Danville. A lot of his work can now be seen at the new Glass National Art Museum, which is just five minutes from campus on Danville's Main Street. Powell pieces are shown throughout the world in lots of different galleries and museums, but to have this here in Danville feels so special, and we also feel like we can be the ones to carry on his legacy. Powell's glass objects are large, full of color, and whimsical, collected solely for their beauty and one-of-a-kind designs. The artist died in 2019, but a donor who wants to be anonymous purchased dozens of Powell's pieces and donated them to the museum, a gift worth more than a million dollars. Directors say the museum has had a steady stream of visitors, even though it opened outside the normal tourist season. It's truly remarkable how much enthusiasm there is for it. We are tickled when we have people come in that are clearly overjoyed by what they see. When I see this, I'm just amazed at how beautiful the designs are and how he could create all this. Amazing is the one word for it. The museum will get bigger and exhibit glass pieces by other artists and soon have its own glass blowing studio, much like the one at Center. Stephen Rolf Powell left a mark on Danville and the current glass art expert who is on the museum board says showcasing so much of his work in one location will make the city a destination for art lovers. He showed a lot of people you can stay in a small town, you can't, you don't have to work in the larger cities and, and become very successful, not just successful, but internationally successful. In Danville, Marvin Bartlett with the spirit of the bluegrass.